So do you ever find yourself putting the wrong fuel in your vehicle? I mean, not like gas and diesel, but like your car takes 91 octane, but you accidentally put in 87 octane. Well, my wife did the same thing. Uh, she put 87 octane into her vehicle that requires 91 octane. And my wife has a 2007 Subaru XT and uh, with a turbo, so it requires 91. So. I'm going to show you what I'm doing to get the 87 octane out and so that I can put in fresh 91. So first things first, what I did was I disconnected the engine feed from the fuel rail here and I did that using a uh, 3 8 fuel line quick disconnect remover. And then I disconnected the back end from this um, check valve here and connected it into a feed line. Now this is 16 gallons full of um, 87 octane so a lot of fuel needs to be pumped out of here. I just so happen to have another one of my cars that takes 87 octane that was almost empty on fuel so running the hose directly into the fuel neck there and then all we have to do there's a couple different ways we can do this, and I'm going to show you how to get the fuel pump to turn on and cycle itself so that it can pump out the gas. Alright, so I'm on the passenger floorboard here, and underneath the carpet is these two connectors. Now if you connect these together, turn the ignition key to the on position, it starts cycling all of the relays on the car, including the fuel pump, and will effectively pump the fuel out of the tank. That's not the easiest way, though because I have a select monitor and select monitor is cycling the fuel pump here until I hit the stop button. So it's going to take probably about 20 minutes to pump enough fuel out of the vehicle in order for me to uh, put some fresh 91. So another thing I forgot to mention was that um, so that you don't run the car completely dry and burn up the fuel pump um, you can actually monitor your fuel level resistance and this here doesn't give an accurate representation in like how many gallons it has but the ohms go from zero meaning full to 90 which means completely empty so at this here it's about 70 percent empty so I'm gonna drain it until it's about 90 percent which would be uh, right around 85 ohms and that will give me enough to get to the gas station to um, put in 91 octane and uh, get rid of any kind of uh, 87 that's actually still in the tank. Okay, so enough time has gone by, my fuel level is full, I'm gonna go stop the fuel pump test. Okay, stopping the test, and now we're at zero duty. I'm going to shut off the key here for the vehicle. I'm going to see how much fuel is left in it. Alright, so, got a little over a quarter tank. I'm going to pump some into a fuel can then for this so that we can get the rest. I want to get it as close to E as possible. Alright, so the last bit of this is going into this gas can here. I'll fill it up with a gallon of 91 and take it to the gas station and and hopefully uh, all will be well. Put the car back together and that's it.